Good morning and welcome to Living Local 15. I'm Jessica Williams. Thank you for joining me today. We have a festive show, so let's get started. First up, we are visiting the Botanical Conservatory and exploring their outside fall pumpkin path, plus getting the rundown on all of their upcoming events for the family. Then I chat with downtown Fort Wayne about their upcoming Fright Night and the infamous zombie walk. And later we get the real estate rundown with Allison Reinhardt. That and more happening now. Fashion, food and fun. You're watching Living Local 15 with your host, Jessica Williams. What better way than to spend a beautiful fall day than walking through a pumpkin pack? And I have one for you. I am here at the Botanical Conservatory with Nate Cardelli, who is the general manager. Hey, Nate. Hey, How's thanks for being going? here. Yes. Oh, my goodness. So the leaves are falling and outdoors is so nice right now. And we are here outside of your facility, an area that I've never been before. <laughs> yes. So it's our beautiful pumpkin path. It's just opened up for us and we're really excited to bring folks out this year. Yeah. It's a great way to celebrate the fall harvest this season mm -hmm. and really get into the spirit of that season. So right? great way to see a bunch of pumpkins, moms, and just some really great fall photo opportunities. Right, which is so great. When you bring your whole family, you can actually just take the fall photos here for the holidays. You provide the backdrop and all of that, which is great. Absolutely, <laughs> plenty of Christmas card photos will be taken this fall mm -hmm. and then go out this holiday season. Yes, and of course here at the Botanical Conservatory, you all do such a great job of changing out the exhibits, making it themed, and making it something new and exciting. So tell me when this exhibit will run through. Absolutely, so this is one of the only outdoor exhibits that we do, okay. and it runs through October 29th this year. Okay, wonderful, well, let's go walking down the path. Absolutely. <laughs> We have these large. Yes, yes. I like what's that corn stock? Yeah. They call them corn shocks, which I don't oh, understand. I don't understand where shock <laughs> comes from, but that's cool. Look at then the lovely lights that oh. will look so cool at night. So wonderful. And so we're approaching one of your mini photo op opportunities which, and this will fit a whole family, let's just yeah. say it. <laughs> okay, Nate, so I know that you all have a lot of different events happening for October, and one of them is a big film that you all are premiering here. So what is that? Absolutely, so each year we do the screening of the Rocky Horror Picture Show. Mm -hmm. It's a great time for folks to come out. Uh, they call it doing the time warp with us. Okay. And uh, <laughs> just enjoying that great film. And this year it's actually a rain or shine event for us on the okay. 21st. And that will be outside? It'll be outside. Okay. $10 admission. Mm -hmm. um, all ages. The movie's rated R. So okay. if you're bringing younger kids, <laughs> make sure that they have their parental consent. Okay. Um, but yeah, it's a great opportunity for fam or, or for folks who want to see that movie to get out. Right. And surprisingly, I've never seen that movie. Yeah. It might be the <laughs> so, year. So yeah, this might, might be the year. And so outdoors. And so will there be food and different things that people can kind of get while they're out here? Absolutely. So for Rocky Horror, we actually have Matt Anthony Brewer company on site okay. and they're doing our food and beverage so they have a full bar as well as a barbecue offering oh nice wonderful well this is one great photo op let's keep walking absolutely So of course, at the end of the month, you have to do something special for the kids. So tell me all about the trick-or-treating. Absolutely, Garden Trick-or-Treat is on the 28th this year. Mm -hmm. It's that Saturday before Halloween. Okay. Great opportunity for the kids to get out, 
fill their jack-o'-lantern and do a bunch of fun activities like a pumpkin ring toss, mm -hmm. a paint a pumpkin, and really just get into that Halloween spirit. Yeah, that's fun. And you know, in this environment where they can kind of do one of both, they can enjoy the pumpkin pat and then also gather some treats and stuff. And so um, does that cost anything and do people have to get tickets in advance? Yeah, so Garden Trick or Treats is just regular admission. Okay. So we're talking $7 for adults, mm -hmm. $5 youth, three to 17, okay. and then babies are always free. Okay. And Garden Trick or Treats just part of that, so is Pumpkin Path. Okay, and do you encourage kids to dress up and kind of get into the theme? Oh yeah, the yeah. costumes are our favorite <laughs> that day. Okay. You really want to see your best costumes and uh, We'll just have them try out their Halloween wear. Yeah, okay, so that's October 28th on a Saturday. Absolutely. And what's the time? It's from 10 to 3. 10 to 3, oh, during the day, perfect. Yeah. Okay, awesome. Well, thank you so much, Nate, for sharing about your events and letting us walk and kind of enjoy the pumpkin path. Yeah, thanks for being here. You're welcome. And if you would like more information about the Botanical Conservatory, we'll have their website listed below so you can check out all of their fall and October events. And we'll be right back. Have an idea for the show? Want to find out how you can be a guest? Contact us at livinglocal15 at wayne.com. Do you want to know the best places to go to eat and drink around Northeast Indiana? Well, join me, Jessica Williams, for Living Local 15 weekdays at 9 a.m. as I take you inside of the best restaurants, new and old, explore their menu, and of course, mix up some cocktails. Where will I go next? Well, you'll have to watch and see, but I want to know, where do you recommend I go? Keep up with Jessica Williams on Living Local 15, weekdays at 9. It's time to start gearing up for the biggest Halloween event here in Fort Wayne. Fright Night is back, and joining me to talk all about it is Preston Wallace, the marketing director with Downtown Fort Wayne. Good morning, Preston. Good morning, Jessica. How's it going? Good, how are you? Good, okay. The Night of Scary and Spooky is back. And of course, this event brings out so many people because it's fun, it's lively, and it happens on the street. So give us a rundown of Fright Night. Absolutely, so this is our 14th season with Fright Night running in downtown Fort Wayne. Uh, this year it's gonna be presented again by Flagstar Bank, which is a great community partner of ours. Um, it's a really fun, uh, rich community tradition that we have in downtown Fort Wayne. Um, it's family friendly, it's open to the public. Most of it is gonna be free. There are some ticketed events as well. Well, but for okay. the most part, everything's going to be free and open to the public. Mm -hmm. um, it's on Saturday, October 21st. It's kicking off at 7 a.m., really, really going into full swing at 9 a.m., and then okay. running all the way until 11 p.m. that day. Wow. Um, making some changes this year, so mm -hmm. we've got a couple different things that we're switching up with Zombie Central. Um, it's moving from INM Plaza back to the Allen County Public Library Plaza um, mm -hmm. to kind of help out with some of the weather and the wind situation over there. Uh, but that's going to be kicking off at 1 uh, and then running until 5.30 p.m., so it's kind of a zombie walk pre-party. Okay. And then we have the always popular zombie walk kicking off at 3 p.m. as well. Okay, what well you said, starting at 7 a.m. So what is happening that early? Like break down the day for us um, and what is happening until 11? Yeah, so we've got about over 30 different events and activities that wow. are being uh, put on and sponsored by some of our great community partners, um, ranging anywhere from Canela, which is opening up at 7 a.m. and giving out some great treats. Oh, yeah. um, and then also, you know, you've got the Embassy Theater, you've got the Botanical Conservatory, you've got Animal Care and Control, uh, we've got a 5K run that we're doing, we've got a car show. Oh. Uh, we just have a whole host of different things that are uh, really family friendly, uh, a lot of great entertainment. Um, and then over at Zombie Central, we're going to have some live music. Uh, mm -hmm. We're going to have some really great uh, entertainment and some giveaways as well. Mm -hmm. um, and then new this year, uh, we just had this at our, our Art Crawl Alley Bash, but we're bringing back the Fort Photo Booth, which is a 360 degree photo booth. Oh, um, so you can kind of capture all the fun experience that you're enjoying with your family and friends, uh, especially while you're dressed up in your zombie costumes and makeup. Right. Oh my goodness. I've always wanted to do one of those 360 things. I see them at events, but I never get over to doing them. So this is perfect. Everyone can do it and you can do it with your family. Um, and so when people come out, you want them to be dressed up and kind of get into the Halloween theme? Yeah, yeah, absolutely. So we do encourage you to come out, uh, dress your best. Uh, we're going to have some different costumes and uh, prize giveaways for best dressed at, at Zombie Central as well. So it's a lot of fun just to really engage and see what everyone's kind of showing up with. But mm -hmm. um, we're also going to have some different locations as part of those activities, events at all of our different community partner locations. Um, they're going to be offering some free
free makeup as well. So if you uh, oh. want to come out in your outfit and your costume and then get your makeup done uh, on site, you're more mm -hmm. than welcome to do that as well. We encourage that. But um, it's always fun to see the kind of the creative outlets that everybody takes on as far as their costumes go. Right. Absolutely. And you mentioned performances and live entertainment. So who will be performing this year? Yes, we've got the Pensioners, which is going to be kicking off at 1 p.m. over mm -hmm. at uh, Zombie Central at the Allen County Public Library. We've also got the uh, Fright uh, Orchestra as well. So they're oh. going to be performing. We've got uh, Fort Wayne Dance Collective that we'll be doing a little bit yes. as well. Um, so just some fun family, uh, fun entertainment that we're really looking forward to. Mm -hmm. um, and then there's always just some organic stuff that's taking place through, throughout the kind of footprint of the event. So mm -hmm. we're always uh, curious to see what people show up and, and do. Okay, and then as far as food options, people are out there all day. You said we're kicking it off with some really good coffee and treats from Canela. But then will people have an opportunity to experience food trucks or should they go into restaurants that's all along um, downtown Fort Wayne to be able to eat? Yeah, so we're definitely encouraging uh, all of our attendees to really show up for some of our great food and beverage options that we have kind okay. of throughout the district. Mm -hmm. um, I do know that like Birdies and Arbor, for instance, are doing some different specials as part of the Fright Night nice. event. Um, there are a couple other locations that are going to be offering some different deals and specials as well. But um, outside of that, I mean, we've got a really great selection of over 60 restaurants and food, of, food and beverage establishments throughout oh. that footprint of the event. Mm -hmm. um, so we do encourage you to, to make a reservation or show up and, and enjoy some of that food throughout the day while you're enjoying all the great activities that we have to offer. Right. Yes. And you say 14 years, yeah. right, that you all have been doing this, which is incredible. And of course, the day kind of culminates to the big Zombie walk. Exactly. That's what people want to see. Exactly. Oh, and the costumes and everything. So what is that? So it's just everyone coming together, walking, um, kind of have the cool music playing, and just really you can either just watch if you want to or participate in the full walk. Exactly. Yeah, yeah. so it's kind of like a parade almost. Okay. Uh, we do have people that line the streets if you don't want to be a part of the actual zombie walk itself. Um, but this is probably the most popular portion of the event. Um, like I said, we've probably seen anywhere between five to six, five to seven thousand people show wow. up just for the zombie walk mm -hmm. itself. And like I said, this year we're moving it back a little bit in time. So mm -hmm. uh, last year, I believe it was at 5.30 p.m. This mm -hmm. year we're going to have it at 3 p.m. to really okay. capitalize on some of that great weather. Yes. Um, and that's going to be kicking off and starting at the Zombie Central location at the Allen County Public Library. Um, but yeah, people just really have filled the streets of downtown Fort Wayne and, and walk as a zombie throughout. Um, and we've got a really great uh, route that we've got planned for this year. Um, you're going to walk by some of these businesses. Um, it's really fun just to engage and see the different attendees and the guests that are showing up just to see the parade. So yeah. it's a lot of fun. That sounds like fun. Okay, so Preston, you mentioned so many different things that you all are offering for this event, but of course people kind of want to look at it and map out their day. So if they want to learn more information about the events and really understand what cost and what is free, where should they go? Yeah, so we've got all this information on FrightNightDowntown.com. Okay. Uh, we've also got survival guides, which we do every year. Um, mm -hmm. So we switched the format of that up a little bit this year. Mm -hmm. It's a little bit more concise, easier to read and interact with. Um, we've got those dispersed throughout the community at different businesses and locations as well. Um, or you can pick a copy of that up at our office um, at downtown Fort Wayne. Um, and we've got a digital version online as well at frightnightdowntown.com, oh, nice. mm -hmm. uh, which is going to have a map of those different locations with the activities and events taking place that day. Um, and then a, just a short, short description as far as some of those different activities. And then a QR code that will link back to the website, which is going to give you the full rundown as far as cost, um, location, all that good stuff as well. So all that information is going to be on that website. Okay, perfect. Thank you so much, Preston. Thanks, Sounds good. And I'm going to pray for good weather. Yes, absolutely. For that day. <laughs> <laughs> and if you would like more information about Fright Night, it is taking place on Saturday, October 21st. We'll have their website listed below, and we'll be right back. Follow us on social media at Living Local 15. If you are considering selling your home, it is important to present it properly and make it picture perfect. Our real estate expert, Allison Reinhardt, is here to help sellers prep their home to get top dollar. Hi. Hi, Welcome. Jessica. Welcome. This is one of my favorite topics. Really? This is a big deal because this is, I think, the number one thing that people keeps people from actually maybe selling their home because they don't know where to start. They look around, they go, oh my gosh, what am I going to do to get this home ready? Yeah. And I'm going to give you some topics today too, that even if you're not selling your home, you can make your home at home picture perfect. Okay. That's wonderful. Mm -hmm. Okay. What's the first step? Where should okay. people begin? So we recently pulled our entire team. We okay. said, Hey everybody, let's get together and make our top list. Uh -huh. This is what we came up with. 
Number one, get rid of everything on your countertops. Get rid of things like in your kitchen, coffee pots that are sitting there, soap that's you know out, uh, extra pillows, mats on carpet, um, all of that clutter. Ninety-five percent of us statistically have extra clutter right, that, that we can true. just get <laughs> off. Magazines mm -hmm. on countertops. If you just get rid of it, your home looks brand new in about an hour or two, mm. if you just kind of clear all that. Mm -hmm. Number two, the furniture that doesn't really make sense in your house that mm -hmm. you don't use. Okay. You wanna know a good example? Yes. Ha okay, have you ever been inside a dining room and there's extra chairs for the dining room table and they're kind of put off in the corners? Or oh, yeah, that's just there's clutter. a bedroom that's now kind of a, you know, office with a lot of office stuff and then maybe a treadmill in there okay. and you don't really know what this room is. All that stuff, identify what the room is, get rid of furniture, mm. things you're not using that just don't make sense when yes. you go into the room and go, hmm. What's this about? Right. Get rid of it. Okay. And then another fun tip that somebody said in our group is that um, open up the windows and blinds, right? Uh -huh. The okay. more natural light and the brighter your mm -hmm. house is, the better it looks just mm -hmm. right away. And then the other one, fresh white towels always makes like a nice difference and fresh flowers at the entranceway oh. was another must do tip to get your home. Just an easy thing to do to get it nice right. and spruced up. Kind of light, fluffy, airy, mm -hmm. welcoming, cozy. Cozy. You have to kind of present the picture that you want. Okay, but what about things around the house that may need to be fixed? Do you recommend people start to do a little remodeling just to kind of spruce it up a bit in that way? I never recommend doing that because okay. This surprises people. Big remodel gut jobs like, mm -hmm. oh my gosh, we got to remodel the whole kitchen or redo the entire bath. With ROI, rate of return on your investment in that mm -hmm. is typically about 50 to 60%. You're not going to yeah. get your money back when you do that. And most likely people who want to buy your home or move in want to do something different yeah. anyway. They don't mm -hmm. like your colors, the tile you pick out. So I think it's a little bit of a waste. What's mm -hmm. going to go further with your dollar is to make minor adjustments. Okay. What am I talking mm -hmm. about? Change up the fixtures. Okay. Do a fresh coat of paint mm -hmm. and um, do the hardware, okay. right? Mm -hmm. And you're thinking, okay, I haven't done that in a while. We should be doing those things anyway. Do you want to take a guess how many every how many years? Um, I would say every five years. Every five years. Really? You're right. Yes. <laughs> every five years, you should be updating um, your home with paint, mm -hmm. fixtures, and that will make your home look like a million bucks wow. on, you know, not, I don't want to say the cheap, but the more inexpensive than a major remodel project. Yes. And then diving in deeper into the paint job. Mm -hmm. So sometimes people have like really eccentric wallpaper or bright <laughs> colors or a statement wall. Do you recommend they just choose a neutral, really nice plain color? Yes. Okay. Choose one neutral color throughout the entire home. Lots of times you see people who love like a, you know, red kitchen and then a brown <laughs> downstairs and a yellow bedroom. Um, typically when you're selling the home, that's really going to stick out and it mm -hmm. is a turnoff for buyers. Um, so that's just an easy way and it's going to make your home feel more conducive, right? Okay. There's more flow to your home if you pick a neutral color. So right. a light light neutral beige or gray. Mm. And again, you can ask experts to come in and we can give you paint colors and ideas like that. Yes, and then what about the furniture? I know you shouldn't replace all of your furniture, but what about like the couch and things that may look a little worn or used around the house? Yeah, I always say whatever your eye goes directly to, uh -huh. there are gonna be some fix it. So you, if you have holes or scratches from a pet or yeah. you know um, your couch or your chairs are looking a little afraid, it's time for it to go. Mm -hmm. um, if you have a torn screen, if you have a hole in the carpet, it's time for that to go. Mm. But I say take care of the obvious fixes and yeah. then spruce it up with those easy fixes and you'll be good to go in a matter of a week or so. Yeah. And talking about making it picture perfect, when people mm. are taking their pictures to be able to post online, is it best to hire a professional photographer or is it now we have the proper technology just to use our phones with the proper lighting? <laughs> mm, this is a great question. I would say the best um, investment Investment, if you're going to be selling your home is mm -hmm. getting the best photography 
and do the best marketing. Your first showing is online. So when you're thinking about <clears throat> selling your home, you have to think of it that way. Mm -hmm. So you want to put your best foot forward, make the investment into a great photographer, drones, um, everyone Ooh, who's yeah. going to do that marketing because then your second showing is when they actually come. So it's yeah. changed a lot in the housing market, mm -hmm. especially here in Fort Wayne, being one of the hottest markets in the country. Yeah, that's awesome. And as we are focusing on making sure each room is correct, is there one room that you just really have to pay the most attention to? Okay, I'm going to be non-traditional with this okay. answer because people are probably <laughs> thinking, oh, it's the kitchen right? or, that's what I or I've got to have a great master bath. <laughs> or you know whatever mm -hmm. i think it's the entrance way and here's mm. why first impressions whether it's with a person or a house mm -hmm. goes a long way so what do you do in terms of this clear the clutter put those fresh flowers out mm. um this is a great time to put some mums you know right when you're walking into your front yeah. door or something inviting because the moment somebody walks into your home their impression and their thought happens within the first five seconds mm -hmm. of walking through that right. front door. So I say put your attention right there at the entranceway. Make a great first impression. Yeah. And one other thing that I've seen on television, they say always be baking cookies. Is that a true oh thing? Oh, my gosh. <laughs> you know what? I would probably put that last in my list. But I have gone into homes, and the seller has let, the homeowner has left some fresh cookies out yeah. there. It's a nice touch, for <laughs> sure. For sure. Love or good it. smells, right? Because right, you don't smells. want those bad ones. Right. 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 Yeah. <laughs> well, thank you, Allison. We appreciate it. My pleasure. Thanks, Jessica. <laughs> if you have any real estate questions, you can email Allison. We'll have her email listed below and we'll be right back. Living Local 15, proudly driven by the Kelly Automotive Group. Well, that's our show for today. Thank you so much for tuning in. And you can always rewatch segments or full episodes of Living Local 15 by going to wayne.com or downloading the Wayne app. And I'll leave you with this. While you're out, give a little smile, give a little wave, share a little light and love today. And I look forward to seeing you here tomorrow. Bye-bye. Go to the Living Local 15 page on wayne.com for recipes from the show. To watch a segment again, and to get information on products and services featured on Living Local 15.